Welcome to our channel. In this video we will quickly explore how we can use Microsoft Access Database with R. We will see how to connect to our Access Database, create tables, run select and update queries. Delete data and finally see how to drop or purge the data table. We would be using these packages. ODBC and RODBC. Let us run these two commands first. Then we will be able to examine all ODBC drivers which are already installed on our Windows computer. We can see that we have quite a few drivers already installed on our computer. One of the drivers is the Microsoft Access driver. These drivers get installed automatically when you install a Microsoft Access database on your computer. Now we will provide the full path and the name of the database. Note that we have already created this database. You can see the Microsoft Access Database already on the right-hand side. Note that you do not need the Microsoft Access Database to be open to be able to use it with R. We have opened it for demo purposes so that we can see what is happening in this database when we issue various commands to interact with this database. Next step is to open a connection with this database using the ODBC connection. The RODBC library has a ODBC connection method for the Access Database. Now let us run this command and we would be able to establish a connection with our database. Next step now is to use the built-in dataset in R called MT Cars. We would copy this into another data frame called DF. If we open the data frame DF we can see that it has got the exact copy of the data from MT Cars. Before we go any further, let us see if we have any existing tables in our access database. We will use the SQL tables command and pass the connection object called con to it. Recall that we have already opened a connection object called con which points to our access database. If we run the SQL tables command we can see that there are some tables in our access database. But these are the built-in system tables. There are no existing tables containing data. In other words, our database is currently blank as we have already got a local copy of our data in a data frame called DF. We will now try to copy this data in our access database. We will use the SQL save command. We will pass the connection object con, the name of our data frame DF and within quotes we provide the name of the remote table which we want to create and copy our data. In this case we are also calling our remote table as DF. Lastly, append option can be set to true or false. If it is set to true then it will simply add the new data to any existing data in the remote table. Ok, if we refresh our access database, we can see that it now contains a table called df. This contains the same data which was in our data frame in R. If you notice that our data frame in R had row names in it. These row names have appeared as a new column in our table in access. So the table in access has an extra column called row names in it. Now, if I run the same SQL save command, but this time I will set the append equals true. You would see that the data from our R data frame will again be copied or appended to our existing table in access. So instead of 32 rows which it had earlier, now it has 64 rows. So, how do we read the data from access into R? We can use the SQL fetch command. Pass the connection object con which we created. Also provide the name of the table you want to read. Note that the name has to be in quotes. We have given the row names equals false. Sometime you get errors when your original table had row names. Access does not have the concept of row names, it only has the columns. We can recall that the RODBC converted the R row names into a new column in Access when we first copied the data to Access. Now that we have been able to fetch the whole table, let us try to use the SQL queries. We wrote a simple query where we only want to fetch the data where mpg equals 21 and we want to sort the data by the cylinders. The SQL query command does this job for us. If we run these two commands we will be able to get a new data frame which will only contain the records which matched the SQL query which we provided. Now we can try to update the data in access by writing an update command. In this query we said that if the CYL equals 4 then the MPG value should be changed to 999. Once we run the update command successfully, we can see that the data in access has been updated. Wherever we have CYL equals 4, the value of the MPG has been updated to 999. 
Finally, we will explore the delete query and the SQL drop command. Delete query will only delete the data, it will not delete the existing table structure in access. But the SQL drop command will drop or purge the data as well as the table structure. ODBC close command closes the connection object. It is good practice to close the data connection when you are not using it. I hope that you found this information useful and practical. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it then please share it and subscribe it. Bye for now, see you in the next video.